All right, recently uh, we heard the kind of uh, diverse rumor between uh, you know, uh, Paul Okoye and uh, his wife Anita Okoye, and that got a lot of people talking, and we were all surprised at that. You know, uh, the divorce was filed by his uh, wife, who um, they claimed that, yes, you know, Paul Okoye must have done something terribly wrong until we started uh, seeing some kind of further revelation about the whole thing. But right now, I just want to talk about um, some of the interesting uh, demands of, um, you know, Anita Okoye that a lot of people are now debating and discussing on social media. Before I dive in to talk about this, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below so that we can also discuss about it in the comment section <laughs> Yes, I was blaming out Root Boy not until uh, further revelations about what really transpired between um, you know, Root Boy and his wife before his wife decided to like fight for uh, you know kind of divorce and then a lot of people are now saying that yes, this uh, divorce is not going to um, you know favor Anita at the end of the day based on what they are reading out online. Yes, let me read out what I got from uh, G's Magnet. You know, Paul Okoye versus Anita Okoye. Number one, she wanted P Square to break up uh, so that Paul can be on his own. Uh, she got it. They broke up. And then a lot of people cried about that. Wanted P Square to remain and remain the biggest entertainers in uh, Africa. But unfortunately, they broke up. And then number two, she asked Paul to make her a director in the new company, Root Boy Records. He agreed. Number three, she asked Paul to fire his manager, who is uh, Jude Okoye, their elder brother, and replace him with her younger brother, who studied music at Unilag and also had a diploma in business management he refused yes because you know uh root boy understands what it means to like you know do business because a uh, root boy has been doing business even before this person graduated and you know doing that you are kind of telling him that man you want to take over his life and his businesses she requested that she wants to be traveling with paul to all his events and shoes he refused Yes, who will take care of the children? That is something that you know you need to understand about this. Number five, she heard that P Squares are planning to get back together and told Paul not to attend any reconciliation meeting. He ignored her. <laughs> she then decided to starve him of sex for five months just to make him know she is upset. Paul told uh, Paul told Jude's wife to beg her, but Anita stood her ground. So Paul decided to get a girlfriend who he rented a house for at Ikoyi and he stopped begging her for sex. That is something, you know, uh, you will understand that, man. We thought that the girl is a saint, but based on this I'm reading out right now, you will get to understand that a whole lot of things uh, is happening in the Peace Quest uh, house and in Root Boy's house. And he's been enduring a lot of things. And now a time has come for him to actually speak up because, yes, the wife decided to fight for a divorce. And now she may or she may not get it. That is something we believe. And she said she needs about 7.8 million naira. Um, you know, spousal support monthly, and that is um, outrageous. That is what a lot of people are now discussing on social media. 
Number seven, in December, she refused to allow her kids to attend the yearly Okoye Esmas party at Jew's house, which Jew's wife condemned. Number eight, in March, she requested that she wanted to travel to with the kids for holiday in the U.S., where her sister is based. Paul told her to wait till August, but she refused. When Paul went for a show in U.K. in April, she took the kids and fled to U.S. without his permission. In June, um, Paul paid a surprise visit to her sister's place in U.S. only to discover she wasn't staying there. She was in another state, Otter, with her ex-boyfriend, one paid aside from the same village with her in River State. These are the things, uh, some of the things that is getting some kind of mad attention on social media. And uh, a lot of people are saying that, yes, um, all these things being true or so, I uh, think that the woman is not a good person. And number 10, Paul asked to see the kids, but she refused. Uh, so he left and returned to Nigeria. She was expecting him to file for divorce, uh, but after waiting for months and not hearing him uh, make any move, she decided to file it herself. Paul has never hit her. Uh, he, has, he was given her $3 million a month as upkeep. This is actually ridiculous and a lot of people are condemning the lady based on this. And uh, we saw the side of the lady because she sided like, um, you know, because of irreconcilable differences. And that is why uh, she is actually making some of the demands she's making right now. And some people decided to like support her, were quick to support her, while some other persons condemned Root Boy to an extent. And some decided to stay neutral. And now, uh, some of the truths uh, are coming out and a lot of people are beginning to see that, yes, uh, there's a lot going on um, before now. And then, Root Boy has endured a lot. And uh, any woman that is uh, capable of that is capable of, um, you know, kind of uh, doing something funny to you and at the end of the day, uh, makes away with all you have. And that is something that... Uh, some people are now discussing on social media. What do you feel about that? Uh, do you feel that it's right for the woman to actually do uh, some of the things uh, she's uh, asked the rude boy to you know, do at the end of the day? I need that in the comment section so that we can talk about it for now. Before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. Don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section below.